Good evening and welcome to Tiki, Tiki Hut Central, the podcast. I'm your host, Ken Rose, and my uh, co-host, who are you? <laughs> Lisa Rose. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show tonight, everybody. We've got a really good show for you tonight. We have a local musician in the house, Brian Purvis from Groveland. And you're probably going to have to turn off your volume on your phone because otherwise we're going to get boogie back. through that. <laughs> so. I was like, is that me? Is that me? <laughs> We always get it rolling one way or another. So we'd like to welcome Brian to the show. Welcome to the show, Brian. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Uh, hey, as, as everybody knows, uh, we are brews, beats, music, the whole deal. So we're going to bust open a, a nice beer tonight. We're going to share it up and see how it goes. So um, let's see what we got here. Take your pick. Oh boy. Of course, we're at Tiki Hut Central. So we have Haikuna Matata. This is a local IPA. From somewhere here in Florida, it is 6.6% alcohol, and uh, we're going to go ahead and bust this open and share it, see what it tastes like. So give us a second. Oh. You, you guys know I'm a beer entrepreneur. Oh, oh there's I hate word. that word. I can't pronounce that word, man. <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> you were so concerned we're going to use those big words. Holy shit, I, I, I can't even remember that word. <laughs> Give me the least amount there. All right. Here, here you go. We'll give you the most. Oh, All right. Boy. Oh, boy. Cheers. We'll give this a taste, and we'll, get, and we'll give you a quick sample here in a minute. I said don't hop, put it on me. Hoppy. hoppy. Very hoppy. Yeah, it's good. It's IPA, it's good. though. Very good. Very good. Right, there you go. It's cold. And as you can see, we're using our Tiki Hut Central, the podcast mm. official 16-ounce pint glasses. It makes everything taste better because it feels like you're in the tropics. So... Uh, Special thanks to, I guess, our local ABC that happened to carry this. Yes. <laughs> Actually, if you go to ABC um, Liquors, they have a section called Florida Brew. So it's all local for Florida breweries. So check it out. And um, these we iced down nicely, so we're in good shape. All right. That's good. Cool. We have another sip, and then we'll get into the good, show here. Good stuff, yeah. Brian has some of our swag on I do. I today. I decided I'd wear the old hat. Tiki Hut. To show everybody. Podcast hat. Yeah. Yeah, as Support. you can see. <laughs> Ryan is styling, and uh, Lisa, where's your hat tonight? Uh, I don't have mine on. <laughs> no hat for you tonight, as Just usual. The shirt. Boy, oh boy. All right, well, we're going to get started tonight. We're going to talk to Brian about, about uh, himself, his life. We're going to get into music. And um, to give you an idea of our show's theme tonight, just give me a second here. I just got to pull my headphones off for just a second. The swerve, the swerve. I didn't wear mine. <laughs> I was going to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I've got my official Jason Aldean hat on. I think it was $30. And it does make me look a little bit like a cowboy. But you know what? When I wear the hat, <laughs> I can't wear the headphones. The swerve, man. The that's swerve, awesome. man. That's nice. It's a big hat for my big ass head. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Well, I'm going to take it off so I can hear us talk. But uh, welcome to the show, y'all. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. You need to wear that more often. All right. No doubt. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Jen just actually got me one for my birthday. It was the 20th, and she just bought me a brand new one. Nice. Yeah, it's, freaking, it's nice. It's it, really super nice. It's one of those weird things buying hats because, so, you, you know, you, you have to have the right size head and the exactly. right shaped head for the exactly. right exactly. shape exactly. hat. I know a fellow who looks like Woody. Yeah. <laughs> Toy Story with one. Yeah. You, you know, I, I I want one of those really cool those 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 beat up cowboy hats. You know that uh, Brett Michaels wears, and oh, yeah. and then those yeah. guys they're really beat up. Yeah, and I look like I'm homeless. <laughs> you, know, I look like I, 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 you know, it's unbelievable. Exactly. I mean, That's it's the, just yeah. it's finding the right hat. You, you know, because because you, you you I mean, keeping in mind, you know, I'm I'm from Long Island, <laughs> right. so so growing up on Long Island, I mean, our country music consisted of John Denver, Glenn Campbell. Wow. And Elvis. The good I mean, stuff. Yeah, that was it. The that was the entire <laughs> country genre uh, living on Long Island. So maybe, nobody had a cowboy hat. Jimmy Buffett early on. Maybe Jimmy Buffett. But see, but back then he wasn't even like a uh, who he is today. He was yeah. kind of this folk singing. Yeah. Right. You know. Exactly. And being from Long Island, I can't believe there ain't a bunch of rednecks up there. Uh, well, on, there's on the no. western shore or eastern shore. Oh my gosh, you, there's so much <laughs> ducks and goose to shoot. I mean, come on, man. You, you know what? <laughs> there is quite a bit there. In, in fact, where I grew up, um, all around us were potato farms. Right. So, you know, because people think Long Island, oh, you're from New York, you're from Brooklyn, the hood, or wherever you're from. We grew up in, in, in a fishing village called Port Jefferson. Okay. Uh, it was one of the fewest, few deep sea, deep water fishing ports um, on Long Island. So all the fishing boats would, would, would come in with the lobster and flounder and bluefish and all that stuff. But uh, 
we would we would go to bed at night with our we wouldn't lock our doors. There was no crime. I mean, we, it, it didn't exist. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, so. that's the way it was where I grew up. Same way. Oh yeah. At, at the beginning, me mm-hmm. and Lisa kind of grew up in the same town, so it's yes, we did. Yep, it, it's just. It was like that. Now it's not like that anymore. We locked well, our doors at night, but during the day when we would leave, we yeah. didn't lock the door. Right. Yeah. Nobody messed with anything. Everybody kind of mm-hmm. knew everybody. So sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of growing up, so so you're actually uh, native practically. I'm native. So hundred percent. So you grew born, up in Groveland. I was born in Claremont, which Claremont Hospital is not here anymore. Right. It was out in front of CBC. Oh, okay. Where that yep. open field is at? Mm-hmm. That used to be the Claremont Hospital. I was born. Oh, I was wow. one of the last children to be born, 1979. Right wow. There. I'm not trying to tell my age or anything. <laughs> 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 but I was one of the last to be born in that hospital. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sure. So you grew up out here. I grew here. Yep, I grew up right here. So, so, and and, and obviously, you know, the, the funny thing about tonight's show is is Brian and and Lisa have known each other since like what is middle, middle school, school there about yeah, probably 93. So, yeah, 93. yeah, way way back in 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 the day. Yeah, and then. Brian was friends with Lisa's uh, previous husband, yes. so yep. so that 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 went on too. So there's <laughs> it's a small <laughs> town here. Good stories there, guys. You, yes, <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> two two, two things stories. about Lake County: you can you can swing a cat by the tail and hit a relative, and you can swing a cat by the tail and hit a realtor. <laughs> right, so I mean, exactly. so that's really what it's like out here. So um. Uh, Brian, what's what's different today in um in Lake County uh, as opposed to when you grew up? I mean, I mean, what what are the biggest uh, other than all these Northerners have come down and kind of taken over the Tons place? Tons of traffic. We used to be able to go to Claremont from Groveland in like ten minutes. Wow, ten minutes. Now you can't. There's no. Work. There was like right. one There's stoplight. Stuff. Yeah, that was Maybe it. Maybe two. <clears throat> I was working. I went to work for Winn Dixie when I was like fifteen. So mm. it was across the street, which used to be like. I don't remember what they called it then. Um, so it was Winn Dixie, then it turned into something uh, Walgreens, mm-hmm. and then they changed mm-hmm. it into the Bravo. Is what it is now. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay, right across yeah. from yeah, from across Wendy's. The okay, and, and Publix moved. is where uh, or was where Winn Dixie is now. Yep, they yep. used to be Publix. No, oh, that was Kmart. Kmart. I'm sorry. No, Publix was in there. Scotty's was in there. Then Publix took it over. Yeah, in Sunnyside <laughs> Plaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. boy, those are some <laughs> stories now. Because you know, because I didn't move out here till uh, 2001. And and so I actually got here right before um, all the franchises came because right. because um, if, if we wanted to go out Friday night, I mean obviously the Crown's been here for forever, oh, yeah, yeah. and and the soot from the Crown may be here for longer than <laughs> right, that. Exactly. But 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 we would go to Casbors, which is now Beefo oh, Brady's. Yep, yep. Or we would go to dinner at Lake Susan's Lodge. Yep. And we Rusty had, Fox was over. Was Quincy's here when you moved here? Two thousand one. Quincy's, Quincy's, Quincy's was, was, was here. Was Quincy's here. is yep. still yep. here yep. over where Seacoast is. Yes. Yep. Yep. Quincy's was here. That was so, like our only restaurant. So we had bench warmers, which was out by the lake. Bench warmers. Yeah, but they were big Ohio State fans. Yes, they had the yep. pool tables. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, that was a cool they place. It to Lakeside. That's the, actually I started playing in that place when it was Lakeside, which was really crazy. Yeah, it was a super nice place. Wow. Seen a lot of cool shows there too. I mean, a big axe would come in and play there. Well, the, if I remember, it was like a really big place. I yeah, mean, it was, it it was, was huge. A, it was a yeah. big it changed space. names too. Yeah, it went from bench warmers to Lakeside Grill. No, I thought it was something else too for a while. It may have been. I don't know. And now it's Epic Cycles. It yeah. is. Yep. So, so anybody's looking for a bicycle. Yeah, exactly. Go down to see Epic. They, yeah, go to see Epic. Um, they've got some great bikes. I think they have some drinks too, or something other you can get in there, or like some special concoctions that they make to help you cycle faster. Well, 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 they have those drinks because if you look at the price of their bikes, you need a drink when, <laughs> when you're buying. Now, I'm, I'm not knocking them. I, I mean, look, everybody has has their vices. You know, my vices are are guitars. You, you know, so but I mean, bicycles. You walk in there and you're like, it's not Walmart. So everything starts at, you know. A thousand dollars, and probably the average bike they sell is probably eight to ten thousand. And I promise you, I probably need to be in there buying a bike. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> because you know, I'm starting we to look. We have pre- a rowing machine that's I'm collecting start- dust. I'm starting to look pregnant here. It's just, <laughs> it's unbelievable at my age to be pregnant. Uh, you know, but uh, get on that rowing machine. You know, other than uh, guitars, you know, obviously beer is is is, is one of my that favorites. Is, and, yes, yeah, that is my favorite. It's terrible. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> well, I love cooking and I love drinking beer while I'm cooking. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> and, and in fact, Brian walked in the door tonight with a beer, so right. so we knew he was ready for the show tonight. He knew he was he, he was doing his homework before the show and was sampling beer. So and we all uh, ate pizza, which is the worst. And thing we to had eat, pizza, so, so, so here to lose we go. <laughs> I'm not trying to lose it. It's it's here. It's here, <laughs> it's here for the duration. Right. You know, once you're married, you 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 kind of fall apart, and then you say, "Oh boy, I better get my act together again," oh, because otherwise, right. 
you know, somebody else has knocked at the door. <laughs> you know, the good thing is, is I'm married to an Italian, so she thinks oh. eating is like the thing to do. Well, like, that's, that's, that's like a sport. Yeah. I mean, with Italian and Spanish and all these crazy <laughs> bloods in me, I mean, we're always eating for some reason. <laughs> right. You know, oh, it's the third Thursday of the month. That is lasagna Thursday, whatever it is. You know, we're always eating something crazy around exactly. here. Exactly. So exactly. Oh, so um. Brian, everybody knows you from 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 the Rand Crawford band yeah, and yeah. since you all about town. Yeah. Um, but obviously, when you're in a band, that doesn't pay the bills. So, so what do you what do you do? What's your day job as Clark Kent? You know, yeah. on the stage, <laughs> you're Superman, but as Clark Kent, <laughs> Clark Kent, what do you do? I actually work for Weaver Fire Protection. I I do I do life life safety stuff with those mm -hmm. guys. You know, make sure everybody stays safe in the world. And I went went back to school. I actually got some license uh, thanks to Weaver. Putting, putting up the money for me to help me out and, and, wow. and, and to better him and to better myself. He always said, Hey man, I'm going to try to make you recession proof. So, you know, here, here, here's everything you need. Go do it. You know? Sure. So I'm a licensed inspector. Mm -hmm. I also do backflow. Um, to oh, oh, backflow testing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I do testing and repair uh, to help the community. Um, and I also, you know, I, I install. So I, I help, I help with all that stuff, you know, and, that's what I do for my nine to five. Right. Outside of playing music, because outside of playing music, yeah, I'm expensive. According, yeah. According to Jen. Well, and, and, and you <laughs> and you got a few kids too, so they I they do. must keep you busy I also. Do. I do. I do have. I have five. So five. Five. Yeah. Twenty two to two. God. <laughs> hey. Welcome to being a musician. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Better stay off that stage, or maybe maybe you stay on the stage, or maybe that's the deal. Don't leave the stage till your wife picks you up. <laughs> that's what happens. That's it, yeah, I've got i got five wonderful children. My mm -hmm. oldest, twenty two, he plays with us from time to time. I don't know if you right, Cody. I've seen Cody play a few times. I have Austin, Addison, I have Caleb, um, and then we have Holden, the baby. Wow, the only child of five, by the way. He thinks he is, anyways. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> we all think that. And Lisa's daughter thinks she's an only child. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, Lisa's daughter walks around the house like it's her space. You know, she's got her private bathroom with her ensuite and her own bedroom. And, yeah. you know, but she cooks for us, so we can't complain. Well, yeah, but if she had a kitchen in the bedroom, we would never see her. Yes. She'd have her whole suite over there, like like in a, <laughs> like a studio apartment. She was the only one that liked me, by the way. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> there must be a reason for that. I don't know. I don't know. Certain people gravitate towards each other for whatever reason. <laughs> And I heard she's picked a guitar up, so that's good. Yes. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah, she's, she's picked a guitar up. Um, she's got a she's got a bunch of guitars. I know Jason got her quite a few guitars, and I I bought her a guitar. Um, it was funny because I because I asked her what her favorite color was, and she said blue. She thought she was getting a T-shirt. Yeah, she was getting a T-shirt with her name on it or something, nice. or, or my precious. name on it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so, so I handed her a Tiki Hut Central a blue guitar. Well, yeah, <laughs> everything now is Tiki Hut Central. If, if if you're getting clothing for Christmas, it has the logo on it. It's even it's even sewn into your underwear. That's that that's how we roll. Awesome. <laughs> that will work. Oh, <laughs> so so with music, um, uh, when and why did you start playing? Well. My father, he he always loved music, and my mom, which we're, we're not going to get too far ahead of yourself. Oh right, 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 right. He, he always, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. So, so I, I don't mean to interrupt him, but if you want to call into the show, we are yes. live. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a phone number at the bottom of the screen. You can call in live, and we'll answer your questions for Brian on yeah. the air. Four zero seven four three three four zero one five. That's correct. Hey, that's a good radio yeah. voice there. Hey, all right, all right. So, all right, yeah. getting back. Okay. So, so, so when my, did you start playing? Yep. So my father, he was real big into it. So when we started high school at South Lake, when they opened it in ninety three, they offered a guitar class, and I was like, man, I should probably get in that. And my dad's like, dude, you know, do that. Sure. Dude, do that. You know, because I've always wanted to play music. I never could. You know, and other than on the radio. Sure. You know. So I took the class. And that's how I wound up meeting, you know, everybody in, Girls. in the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I got into it and it just kind of picked it up and it kind of fell into my lap. And further on, right? Um, yeah, because 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 now you play bass primarily. Yes, I do. And there's a funny story behind that one. I have a bass question too, but <laughs> go ahead. So so what we did was uh, so I learned how to I learned the skills or the fundamentals of playing guitar. And that's how I kind of fell into the bass part of it. Um, I was in a studio one time. Uh, bass player didn't show up. 
And you were there. And the engineer said, hey, man, you ever played bass before? I'm like, nope. He's like, here you go. <laughs> it's all you, buddy. <laughs> wow. That's, it was horrible, by the way. Well, but but, <laughs> but you get, did get to play yes, in the studio. Yes, I got to play in the studio for the first time. It was a home studio. It was super nice. Uh, the guy was really welcoming to me. He, he what, was came. it as nice as this studio? I mean, this is really state this of the art. Nice. Right? Yeah, this is state of the art. Nice. Yeah. The green screen. Green screen, the whole deal. The whole dude. What, what, what green screen? We're actually at, <laughs> we're actually at the beach. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's see, there we cool. are. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even look at that. Yeah, we see that. That's what we are. Go figure, man. You were transported just in a moment. <laughs> just at the click of a button. <laughs> awesome. My wife's probably jealous right now watching this. She's like, he's at the beach. Yeah, he's at the beach. He said he was going to somebody's house. <laughs> right. so, and, and and they serve him beer. Mm. The shit's going to fly when you get home. Oh, no. Oh. No, she's she's a good one, man. It's, it's, it's tough. And for... You know, I'm kind of skipping ahead a little bit, but you know, for these young guys who are getting out there starting, you know, you got girlfriends. I mean, you have to find it takes a special woman right. to deal with what I do every weekend. Right. It does. Well, because it's really nights, does. weekends, Dude, special it, events, late, late night weekends. I mean, you know, and it takes a special woman to put up with kind of, that kind of stuff. Right. Because it, you know, it's, it's, I have a job to do when I'm mm -hmm. there. It's kind of just like hanging sprinkler pipe, you know? Sure. If a, if an inspector comes in, I have to, deal with him you know coddle him basically right you know, oh get, absolutely get through my inspections the same way when i'm at the bars playing or uh, at the, my venues i i have to coddle the, mm -hmm. the the customers that are there i mean sure. and she understands that and thank god for that you know oh, I mean, it, 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 it takes big. a special woman that can put up with that kind of nonsense because <laughs> i come in at four or five daylight right eight nine but, the next morning but you're all decked out you know you've got your <laughs> right. your your your, your, your 10 gallon hat and that's bell it, and, and, and the yeah, whole look yeah, exactly. and it's a whole I'm, thing. And nobody likes cowboys anymore. Anyway. Is, is, is so, that true? I mean, is it, I is, is that other, some sort of cultural misappropriation <laughs> crap? <laughs> Who knows? No. Oh, yep. I'll, I'll rock it till I die. Don't look like a cowboy. If you don't own a horse, because right. then you're just faking it. Unless you drive a Mustang, I guess. Right, exactly. Then you actually have a, uh, <laughs> I, I don't freaking know. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> So ridiculous. That's it, that's You're going it. to offend somebody tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> if I haven't offended you on other episodes, <laughs> this may be the show. Yeah, this is probably pretty <laughs> freelance as freelance can be. I won't get on uh, politics with you, but definitely, yeah, we'll talk about some good stuff. I yes. If you right. don't own a horse, that's what they say, but I don't own a horse. I've rode a horse. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've rode a bull. I've dated a horse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Good God, you know, you just strange stuff <laughs> well you, you know one one of the things i i, I mean you know because i played in bands and i've done that thing too and, and and i think what 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 the audience doesn't really understand is it's not a three-hour job no i i, I, I mean you 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 when, when you get off of your day job right you, you you've got to load up your truck yep. you've got to arrive at the venue early because they usually want you set up early yep Mm -hmm. And that could take an hour, two hours, plus wherever you're driving to. Right, exactly. Sound checks, and then you have your three-hour show or four-hour show, and then you got to break down again and pack everything up and head back home. So it's like, so you work an eight-hour day, and then it's like another eight-hour day or more. Or I more. Think, I think Jen said twelve hours. Was it twelve That's hours? What she told me today. Yeah, she's probably looking at that clock. But you're only getting uh -huh. paid for the what three, well, three hours? hours. Four, four hours. hours. Four hours. Yeah, hours. for the four hours, and it is. It's, it, it takes a lot of time, and that's what I said. It goes back to relationship-wise, and it also, you know, she knows that I love this, and she knows that I can't do this. Right. Not do this. I should say. Right. She knows that it's this is a part. It's of like my breathing. Life. Yeah, it really. <laughs> exactly. Is. She's seen me sit on weekends and just about eat my fingernails off. Because there wasn't nothing to do. Sure. And um, I think COVID had a big effect on that. Yeah. But you know. we, we took a little time off. Not mm -hmm. too much. Me and Randall spent a lot of time. Right. Fishing. Fishing. I mean, huh? that's what we did. I mean, we got tons of pictures on our phone yeah. from fishing. <laughs> but but it was nice. But also at the same time, I mean, at the token, we we, we, we were dying. I mean, we were ready to go. You know, like right. we were just waiting on them to pull the trigger and start giving these uh, these shots open up and, and go yeah getting get mm. going because i mean a lot of it was we were playing at old reds yeah in orlando yeah what a great venue so yeah so we were we were playing there and they're still based on you know nashville stuff mm -hmm. because that's that's where they come the home office is at so we had to deal with their with their guidelines up to this point mm. and everything's starting to sound good i mean we're looking good and there's a lot of more stuff going on with 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 that side of it we also are playing you know locally at cbc and, mm -hmm. And graffiti junction and all that sure you know if, if, if you guys want to see a great show you should come out and check us out if you haven't seen us i mean it, it it's a good it's a good deal where I are mean, you playing next 
And we when? are we are going to be at CBC Friday. This Friday, Friday? night. Mm -hmm. This All Friday right. night. So we'll be who's there. a graffiti then Friday? Because <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Rob is at the hideaway. Yeah. That's, yep. yep. Who's a graffiti then? I don't know. Us, I don't know. Oh no! Did I say CBC? I meant graffiti. Oh, you're a graffiti. You're, oh you're yeah, a graffiti. yeah. You guys are graffiti, graffiti Friday. Friday. Yep. So you'll go yeah. on at what seven? We play every Thursday, every second Thursday night of the month at CBC. We're going at okay. seven. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. I oh no, that's right. At least we know where you are. So graffiti <laughs> Junction, Claremont, Friday night. They usually start at seven, which is which is a great time to start. Um, and 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 you know, I think Brian and, and Lisa are 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 a bit younger than I am and didn't grow up in in New York. But growing up in New York, bands would not start till eleven because bars were open till four. Wow. So, so you would have to really take a nap after you got home from work and you go on at 11 o'clock, 11.30. I wish I could do that. Right, I mean, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, but, you know, then you're always having breakfast at Denny's, which isn't also good for the mid -section. Yeah, Exactly. That's <laughs> how I keep this girly. That's finger. right. So, so tell me about your first band. Uh, were they guys um, from, from town here? First band I played for was the Dan Story Band. Um, he, was, he was a local guy. He was out of Webster. Uh, he started with a trio gospel. Mm-hmm. Um, thing and then he decided to branch out into the country world. So when I started with him, I was twenty two ish, mm -hmm. something like that. I played with him. Uh, Jordan King, probably a couple guys will know that that name. Right. Jordy. This. Yep. Jordy, Jordy. Yeah. He's playing yep. with Hayfire. He was seventeen years old when I met him. Wow. Yep. yep. That guy's phenomenal. Oh yeah. He's, he's, he's really a, he's unbelievable, a monster, isn't he? You know. Yeah. So so he he was actually playing for the band and and I, and I wind up getting in with them guys we had tour bus i mean we were playing from here to lake city georgia i mean just everywhere um dan was phenomenal guy to work for it was it was just so wow. much fun it was a lot of learning for me because i was just I, I, as i said i had went into the studio and just mm -hmm. figured out the guy said hey man you, you probably should learn how to play bass right and that and was so it. that's how i did it and, wow. and dan actually paid me every weekend and jordan helped me every weekend and i finally got fell into that hmm. spot of, of actually playing the bass guitar wow as a profession if you will well yeah if you get paid right yeah, you know f f funny thing i mean you know what, what what we do with our guests is we always feed them first and we give them swag and everything <laughs> so so you, you had mentioned something earlier about lake city and some sort of event, but but you didn't have any details. So you know, I I I'm dying to hear this Lake City story. Um, I stopped him. We're going to tell you the story, and I said, no. "Where the hell is Lake City? Is isn't that like almost before the Keys? Is that no? no it's oh, North Florida. Oh, North, Florida. North Florida. I don't know where the hell I am. So Lake City. It's just before Georgia. Yep. Oh, okay. Like, it's off a of full four. That's maybe a, an hour from so, Georgia. Yep. Se not even. It's, not even. It's seventy five and four forty one. Okay. It's it's North Florida. Super cool place. The people were really laid back there. So I took a fellow with me one time. And uh, <laughs> As he looks we him. had a blast. By Is anybody we know? Uh, if, okay, we'll mention a name. One of us know him really well. <laughs> <laughs> if he's watching, he will know this story very All right. well. All right. <laughs> so we took him up there because he wanted to go with us. He's super, okay. He was super into it, too. And he was like, man, I want to go up and try this, you know, and see what all this is about because I bragged on him. Sure. I was like, dude, you need to come up with us. This place is crazy. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, these people were way out on a limb a little bit, I should say. <laughs> I mean, the, I had a guy have his wife show me her boobs one night and they were like bigger than my head. Wow. I That's mean, he, he was like, impressive and hey, dangerous. Hey, take a look at this. So, so I said, Hey man, I'm like, you really need to go with this. And remember we were young, back sure. then. I mean, it was, it was a good time. So we drove up and we listened to some crazy stuff on the radio all the way. Um, we got up there and we pulled off the, off the interstate and he's like, man, I'm hungry. And I'm like, okay. So we pulled over to the subway and it was just, it just poured out. Like he knew exactly I had gotten him into the trap. Wow. <laughs> oh, geez. Knew, he knew. So we, we, we ushered over to the bar and, and we were hanging out. And, and then this probably 60 year old woman, bless her heart, she was all about this guy. And I said, Hey, <laughs> meet George Strait. <laughs> <laughs> and I left him. <laughs> and I heard she said, "Oh my God, George Strait!" <laughs> oh, that I was paid, how I heard it. I paid for it all the way. How did you hear it? <laughs> the, the woman said, "Oh uh, my God, George Strait!" <laughs> like she really believed it. Uh, right. Wow. I, I, I paid for it all the way. And it was super funny. It was a good time. I heard she may have licked the pick. I think she did lick the pick. The guitar. Wow. <laughs> Picked the knife. Nice. That, 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 and, uh, and let me tell you, there was some crazy stuff that happened. <laughs> there they um you've heard of lost lonely boys yes yes yes, yes. Oh, yeah. they were playing heaven there one night and some lady had a heart attack at the corner of the stage oh wow 
while they were playing heaven. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Did she make it? No. No. Well, she maybe she made it to heaven though. Yes. Yes, it was it was a crazy deal, but and I've got right. tons of those stories where you're wow. like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Holy cow! And and, 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 and these are all road stories, you know. Yeah, these are road stories. Packing yes. everybody up in a, in a bus or something. Yeah, and, yeah, we were we were in a bus then. Uh, Dan had a forty foot. Um, it was a it was a redone uh, Greyhound bus. Right. Oh wow. Okay. So it had a bathroom. It had bunks. It had everything, dude. We had a sixteen foot trailer with all our gear in it, and we we would go. I mean, it was mm. fun. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, I have drove that bus more than I really. If the DOT would ever pulled me over with air brakes and no oh, yeah, of enforcement, course. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's the craziest story though? I mean, the craziest road story, city, event. Craziest road. I mean, story? I mean that's pretty crazy too. But but yeah. That's, what, what's that's the worst thing? What's the worst thing that happened to I you mean, on the road? There's several of them. worst thing. First thing was seeing a guy get shot. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh, okay. Yeah, seeing a guy get shot in Norman Beach. Wow. That wow. Was bad. And, he, and he passed away. Mm. While you guys were performing? playing, yeah. After wow, really? Playing, yeah. Holy Jeez. cow! Well, that sure did. That's not good news. No, no. That's the craziest thing I've ever right. seen. I've seen one guy whip four other guys one night, and that was pretty crazy. Wow. <laughs> god. I was like, you need some help? He's like, Nah, I got it. What? <laughs> Jeez. What, what's the best experience? What's the best road experience? Well, or best road experience that I've had? Uh, switching drivers while driving a 40 foot bus on 75 <laughs> <laughs> without crashing. No, I'm just playing. Wow. We, we, we have done that, by the way. But, um, we impressive, we, yeah, no doubt. It's pretty cool. You should be a you should be aboard that. Mm. Um, I've done a lot of shows with a lot of, of big acts. You know, I've been, I've been, I've met John Anderson. I did mm -hmm. a show with him. He's a super nice guy. You know, he's hometown local here mm -hmm. in, uh, in mm -hmm. Apopka. He's a super nice guy. He called me up on the bus like, come on. David Lee Murphy. Mm -hmm. He was super cool. Actually, the guy that we were talking about earlier, he's the one that helped us get up on the bus. And Dave oh. was like, man, drink whatever you want. Bro. We talked about fishing and stuff. And and he's real big buddies with Leroy Parnell, if you're familiar with 90s country. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I really yeah. told you my country spectrum is, is like. <laughs> I've heard of him, though. I don't know John Denver or <laughs> other guys. But, but, uh, Glenn Campbell? Dude, I know Glenn Brian Campbell. Stone I don't Campbell. know him, know him, but I've heard of him a time or two. I mean, I, that's I, old. I'm a lineman for the county. That's, yeah, 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 that's a good song. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've, I, I, there's a, there's just a ton of them that's right. been out there. You know, I've done uh, Craig Campbell, Shenandoah, um, Mark was, Wills. Mark Wills was, he's phenomenal. I did a couple of shows with him. He remembered who it was. I know his guitar player. I met him up mm -hmm. in Nashville. Um, super nice people, man. It's just, think, you're, su you're surprised that these kind of caliber of people would be so nice, you know, and they're, and they're super nice. They're super nice people. It's fun to be able to go out and meet those. I, I met Dar um, Daryl Singletary, unfortunately, when he was having problems with his father. Mm. God bless his soul. I mean, he's passed on now, but right. um, when I met him, he was having some tough times, but he was still super cool and, and he took pictures with us and, and those memories, man. I just all those opening acts that we've done with these right. people are, are super cool, and and you and you build off of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Craig Campbell's good, uh, bass player at the time. I mean, he's like, here, man, here, take some strings and let me play his bass and and, and look at his rig. And he did a rig rundown right. with me, which was super cool. And you know, it, it that is for that is like the highlights of my career sure, to, sure. Get, to get to go and sit with these you know super popular people that you don't. You know that you just see on TV, or right, and all of a sudden they're in front of you. Yeah, and it's like, they're, wow. they're in front of you, and, and they're normal people. You don't have to, you know, be like, oh my gosh, you know, they'll yeah. talk to you just like we're talking now. Sure, which is nice. It's nice to see that uh, out of out of some of our popular people that that are in the field of what we're trying to do, or the people we're covering, right, every night. Sure, no, I, th cool. I think that uh, I, I think country music kind of lends itself to to um, bringing you in. It, you, you know. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm a new country fan just, just because I, ha I was wasn't exposed to it young, and and it always seems that when you're watching a country artist perform, that, that you're almost sitting in their living room because of, of of the way that they present themselves, and there's and there's no flash, and there's no they're good uh, storytellers, just great storytellers, right. you know, you know, great songs. I mean, there was the old joke that if you play a country record backwards, the guy gets his dog back, his wife back, and his car back, yeah. you know, kind of thing, truck back. Um, country guys don't have cars, um, <laughs> but uh, maybe they do. Maybe they do. Uh, upstate, where you're. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, one... Oh boy, Rhode Island. Maybe they. Do. Yeah, Rhode Island. I don't, think any, I don't think there's any country up there. Um, it it just doesn't exist. Um, but 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 I will tell you, I 
I bought my first cowboy hat. Um, I think I was 14 nice. or 15. And I was in New York City. Oh, that's a good place to not buy and uh, I know, go figure. <laughs> New York City. Well, there is a naked cowboy in, in New York oh, City. Yeah. And 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 I was and that I, you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not me. Yeah. But it could have been. <laughs> After the show tonight, we'll do Naked Cowboy. Oh <laughs> I got my hat. I'll, I'll I'll get my briefs, and we will do a Naked Cowboy for oh you. Oh, the Lord! <laughs> I've seen him in Nashville. Of all places. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Right, that's right. Yeah, but uh, Too funny. Oh, so 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 I bought this cowboy hat at Saks Fifth Avenue, which is like this highfalutin Manhattan store. But they had cowboy hats. It was the only place I knew that had cowboy hats, and that's why I got my first cowboy that's hat. That's nice. Yeah. So, you know, I don't remember how much I paid for it either. I think it was but a lot of money because they just weren't. You didn't listen to country then, but you wanted a cowboy hat. Right. Well, because it's a cool thing to do. I mean, I think it was 1980. Oh, Urban Cowboy yeah, came Urban out. Urban Cowboy, yes. Uh, so that was the thing. Urban Cowboy time. came out. You know, times. so everybody had a cowboy hat. You, you know, we, we we all took our white leisure shoot leisure. <laughs> our white suits, our disco suits, and hung them up in our closets and put on our jeans and our big belt buckles and our cowboy hats. And we were all urban cowboys. Yes, exactly. So, uh, you know, what a great movie. I mean, John Travolta is he's he's crazy. Well, our, yeah. We're going to go cool. as a couple for Halloween as. Well, don't tell everybody. You can, oh, okay. you can tell everybody. It's going to be a surprise. Bud and Sissy? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something a little bit. Uh, uh, we'll uh, have to wait till our podcast in okay, October. There you we'll, go. We'll just wear the costume. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly what we'll do. <laughs> and Pam, what's the hottest? And Pam of all of them. <laughs> I don't think I. Saw, I don't think I ever saw the whole Urban Cowboy. Wasn't that when I had the mechanical bull, bullet? Yes. At, and was it filmed at Gillies? I think it was filmed at Gillies. At Gillies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I remember all that. The largest honky tonk in Texas. Yes. Yeah. See, and I remember that. Go <laughs> figure. You know, and I've only been to Texas like two or three times, so I, I, you know, that's all I know. I'm looking uh, to head that way myself. I mean, yeah. that's where my heart is right now with the music. Right. Because, you know, we're dealing with what we're dealing with on the radio. Oh, sure. Texas music is just, it's what it was back in the 90s. Right. Hmm. I mean, those guys are, are killing it out there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's so awesome to... Well, it's certain cities, too. It's refreshing, too, you know, to, to hear that kind of music that's out there. You have to follow it, like I told you. I right. mean, we may talk about some stuff you may have never even heard of. Well, half that shit I didn't even hear, hear of. But, <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but I have seen Austin City Limits many times. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know, I, oh, so, really? so to me, Austin's like, the, that seems to be the mecca of, of music. I'm, and I could be yep. wrong. But um, I saw so many great acts on, on TV and PBS oh, yeah. did them. And, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of great guys that came out on Austin City Limits. Right. But you also got, you know, you got Fort Worth where you got the stockyards. I right. mean, those guys are flourishing down there. Oh, sure. I mean, crazy. And and unfortunately, they got shut down a little bit. But I think they're uh, Governor mm -hmm. Abbott out there is starting to turn everything kind of loose and, and let things start open back open up again a little bit busier yeah that's um, good a couple of the bass players that i know that are out from out in texas that i communicate with they've they've said that things are starting to pick up for them and they were kind of envious of what's going on here in florida yeah thanks to our awesome governor the governor's killing it <laughs> no. governor's killing it well i mean i mean my my, my best friend my, my childhood friend um his brother does a video and and so his brother um, tours with Keith Urban, Aerosmith, uh, oh, some nice. other big bands. Nice. But he also does all the video production for the Houston Rodeo, right. which is like a big three-week cool. music right. event and all of that stuff. And, you know, they they were shut down. So, I mean, yep, yep, know, yeah. that's uh, everybody. I think Cody Johnson was supposed to play that this year, and he wound up not being able to wow. play it. So. And I got the chance to see him before he got famous, which is super cool. So Yeah, it's always weird seeing people before they're famous. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I Brantley Gilbert the same way. I, oh, I, I love him. Yep, I, had, I introduced him to Brantley. Yeah, yeah I, I think he's super him. cool. He's 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 like the the, the, the hard rock guy of yes, country. country. Yeah. Oh, you know. his, his songwriting is just amazing. Yeah, absolutely. There's like nobody absolutely, like him. Absolutely. I, well, I, and Keith Urban. He's I, my other favorite. Well, I, I, got, I got a chance to talk to him. I, I Before he was famous, I was actually being – I found his phone number. Really? Called him to come do a gig for me. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? Yep, yep, yep. That's too cool. I just couldn't afford it because he was right on the edge of coming out famous. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, our our, our fangirl over there. Uh, <laughs> you know, we saw. We went to see Chris Young over over and over oh, at, yeah. uh, at Founders oh, Festival, I know, I know and that. she was all gaga eyed <laughs> and. You know, gets her phone case autographed, and oh, and yeah. and and Lisa and I are standing next to Chris Young. He's a big son of a bitch, yes, too. But a super nice guy, and and uh, in fact, if you go to Lisa's Facebook page, you'll probably find um, there'll be a sexy guy with her. That's me, and then Chris Young. <laughs> so, you know, just just let you know. Uh, that's right. I, I almost had to stand on my my heels. Yeah, no doubt. He's I, super uh, tall. Yeah, and I do enjoy covering his uh, 
getting you home. That's that's a yeah. That's yes. I usually tr- I've covered that one since it came out. Right. Since yep, back yep. in the Dan Story days. So oh, sure. Wow. That's, yeah, a, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a and he's a great guy too. I, I've never met him personally, but mm-hmm. you know, I just just to hear him talk mm-hmm. and and follow him on Facebook or whatever the case is. He, he seems very humble. He's very humble. He's I think humble. most of them are hum- most of the artists in country music seem to be very humble. They're very they a- appreciative. I mean, I'm sure there are some dickheads that are just oh, are, yeah. nasty and all of that. Absolutely. You know. I think for the most part they're very good people. Yeah, I would think so. We uh good family people. Dude, the the the, the coolest guy I ever met, and now I'm gonna take you back to Texas, is okay. jo- Josh Ward. He had came down here and me and Jen got tickets. We got like VIP tickets for this guy. I fell in love with him the first time I heard him sing. I was like, Oh my god, this guy is amazing. And he's been around for a while. He came down to the ranch down in Fort Myers. Mm-hmm. Which is a huge facility, by wow. the way. If anybody's ever, if you mm. you should go down there and check that out. I think they got like thirty two journals hanging on the wall in that place. That's how big it is. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> That's so, crazy. <clears throat> we went down and met him. Um, I actually was able to one hundred one point nine, which is the, the country station okay. down, down in Fort Myers. They actually wound up giving me tickets, backstage passes to go see him. Well, I went back and seen him, and I have a guitar strap, and I don't know if you've noticed it before, but it, it's actually made by a lady out in Texas, hand tool. Oh, wow. Yep. It, um, just for you. Yeah, just for yeah. me. It's my, my, she makes them for Cody Johnson, Josh Ward, like all the famous guys out there in right. Texas, and she made it for me. And uh, so I took my guitar strap, and I'm like, dude, Josh, I'm like, you got to sign this. And he's like, yeah, man, and I'll show you the pictures. It's freaking awesome. Right, right. So he signs it and everything, and I said, hey, man. Said I need really need to meet Steve, and Steve was his, his bass player. Okay, phenomenal bass player, by the way. They did a um, show at Billy Bob's, hands down best show I've ever heard. And uh, so he said, "Well, you know, after the show or whatever, we'll get together." So I bought him a couple beers and brought it up to the stage because we were in VIP. We so said, "We're right there, you know, it's cool." And um, got done, and a guitar player came down. He talked to me, and then. Then Josh comes down. He's like, "Hey, man, you want to come out to the bus and hang out?" And I got, I actually got to go back there and hang out with him and talk and and we talk music, kind of like what we're doing. Right, now. sure, Just sure. Yeah. You know, a simple <laughs> talk. And he was like super laid back, chill, like he's a nobody, like he does nothing more than what we do on the weekend. And, it's just his job. That's, his, that's got, his job. Yeah, he's got millions you know? to play. Does he out. sing anything? I would know. Have they played uh, his music here or no? no? Okay. No. I mean, he he does some covers of some. Keith Whitley tunes and stuff like that, oh, but but uh, nice. yeah, he he's he's pretty cool. He's one of the best wow. guys I've ever met. And like I said, <laughs> Steve, Steve's making guitars and stuff out there, basses out in Texas, and phenomenal basses, by the way. I mean, beautiful. Oh, some of the work coming out of some of these small shops is, is incredible. <laughs> yeah, and and he's super cool, man. I mean, it was it was one of those things where it's like, oh man, I was I was on cloud nine, like, and Jen was standing there just like snap, 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 snap. <laughs> Taking pictures of all this because I was just, and I actually got the the concert poster and everything nice. from from the show. Uh, one to one point nine, they like actually kind of took me in and let me do whatever I wanted to do. Wow! So hopefully soon the Randall Crawford band will actually be playing down there. Oh, nice. Okay, and, cool. Down, down there because I've reached out to them. And they're like, yeah, man, come on, send us your videos or whatever. We'll get you in and open up because they they have a lot of uh, you know, touring groups that come down there sure just was pretty just cool out and play yeah. and warm up before they hit, yeah, hit the road yeah yeah absolutely yeah it's funny um, i mentioned guitars because um lisa and i were in nashville uh last year and we, we we got a personal tour of the gibson custom shop no i guess that was 2019 or 2019 yeah. uh, and, and we toured the gibson custom shop that be, was cool be, because my long story but my best friend's wife's brother has been working at custom shop 20 years nice so he took us through and and we, we were holding flying bees that were just cut out bodies and we saw um there was um every step of the process every step of the process we saw you know because it's everything today all the all these aged aged guitars and basses where they look like they're old but they do and 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 the guys literally there's a room where they beat them up with batteries and oh, yeah. hammers yeah. and and you're like really so you know somebody wants this destroyed but um what, what was what was cool to me was there was there was uh there was a corridor and down this corridor had to be a hundred Gibson 1275 double neck guitars that Slash was coming in to sign. And we couldn't post the photos because mm-hmm. Slash hadn't come in to sign them yet. Oh my god. It was, it was it was like it was like a row of them. It was, Super cool. It was very cool. You know, you know, some guys like strip clubs. Um, me, it's like a room full of guitars. It's like, oh boy. You got me. You know? Well, there you, you go. Tell there me you your, go. your favorite guitar place. My favorite guitar place. Lucky dog. Oh wow. Yeah. That makes 
custom guitars. Actually, the, the, there's this guy Anthony Sims up in Cleveland, Tennessee, yep. and uh, he makes custom Telecasters. Ah. And uh, I found him a couple of years ago, and, and his waiting list is like four years long. Nice. And he's and and he's made these for um, um, he, he's made them for both both the guitarists and Def Leppard. He's made them for Merle Haggard. He's made them for uh, who's who, who's the guitarist for uh, Hank Williams Jr. Uh, a walker or something barrett whatever it was barry yeah. walker somebody um completely tricked out that he builds them from scratch i mean it's it's incredible um even the next he doesn't buy the next he actually carves them awesome he makes his own pickups That's and and awesome and he had a cancellation and i was like oh he's just like who's ready to buy i'm like i'm ready to buy so right, i sent him right. my money and about four months later it came it was like, i didn't see it oh well 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 we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll take a look at it later <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. My 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 producer's going going to grab it I've real seen quick. The Taylor, the six twenty. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, That's my six series right. there. I've I've got a builder's edition at the office, and I've got a. 79 strat that's almost impossible to find and then this <laughs> right you know I, I cody's go weapon of choice is the telly the telly the telly the, this a, telly's incredible yeah, he's got a brent mason coming oh wow as soon as california figures out what they're gonna do but yeah yeah this is like this is like junkies you know talking about guitars oh, no, i mean I know. just you know you know but but but, but this guy he he'd only made he only made a few he he, he just started so, so so my serial number is 72. nice and and and, and, and in fact here oh. it is here it is. So I I, I spec everything. I picked uh -huh. out the, the 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 top wood there and nice. And uh, I like the stingray on the back. That's super. Yeah, cool too. yeah. We, uh, stingray was um the, the back of the guitar was sent to uh, Seattle, Washington for the for, for the guy to carve the back, and then the uh, top was all uh, this was all tooled. Um, it, it has a pearly gates in it. Oh, it's oh. it's got a lawler. Um, I was able to pick out the fret wire. I was able to to, to tridents in it. That's super tridents, cool. Tridents, you, you know, because I wanted the beach thing, and uh, freaking awesome. And it's dude. and it's aged. It's got and lock tuners on it. Lock tuners. Oh my god. Um, and, and and then the the real cool thing that's hidden in it is it has a ghost pickup, so I can play it acoustically. It's in the neck. Yeah, yeah. It's in the neck. Yeah, yeah. Show the it's, back of it too. It's in the neck, but yeah, uh, show them show them that. Uh, yeah. So this is, is a super uh, cool stingray on the back of it. This is a lucky dog number seventy two, and it is uh, it's unbelievable. It's 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 just a great piece of art, and and it plays phenomenal. So I'm gonna give this back I'm to my producer sure because it does. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah. Don't drop it. Oh. Don't drop it. <laughs> okay. Let me give him a call and order another one real quick. But uh, yeah. So so uh, guitars and stuff. Uh, getting back to your music, uh, um, your music. Um, I like to ask uh, my, my my musician um, guests the same question: What was the first song you ever learned to play? Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Course, that was it, right? Everybody. Okay. It was, yeah. Sweet Home Alabama. That's it. Sweet Home Alabama. The D chord all the way through. Yep, that's it. So, so that's that's an easy one. Um, you you mentioned that that your son Cody plays guitar, yep. and and I've actually seen Cody play. He's phenomenal. I mean, he he's one of those chicken picking country guys, and you know just 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 does it all. Anybody else in the family play music? No, nope. nobody. Nobody. So unless, unless the radio is out of the question. Unless the radio. Well, yeah, unless you karaoke it. <laughs> so, 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 so basically, when when you when you told your dad that it was a guitar, he's like, "Okay, play yep. guitar." We went down to Donnie Ray's. He bought me a guitar, and, and that was it. Where it started. Wow, Donnie Ray's. It, it's a cornerstone now for. Oh, those cornerstone. Yeah, haven't been here for a while. So yep, okay. I've I've been there too. Spent yep. some money there too. Yep. Um. So Sweet Home Alabama was the first song you played. Yeah, first song. Yeah, first one. Oh, this is gonna get good. Now. Yeah, I know. It's just gonna get really bad. Hey, Lisa, what <laughs> what was the first song you learned on the drums? I do. I know. Uh,
Not bad. Are we up yet? Yep. It's not bad. All right, we're back up. Okay, Lisa says we're back up. Sorry about that. We had technical difficulties. Um, a lot of times at Tiki Hut Central, we have a big hurricane come through, a quick tropical <laughs> storm, and it knocks out <laughs> our cable. It knocks out the blenders, and it just becomes a real headache when you're trying to make drinks with umbrellas in That's it. That's right. But, uh, but if we gave us time to open another beer, yeah, go after yeah. It. So uh, right now, uh, Brian and I are trying out this Ravenous Pig Brewing from Winter Park. Gosh, so uh, try that out. That's pretty, yeah, it's not bad. Is what I said. I think it was. Well, it's not, it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I, I, I haven't busted into that yet, but but uh, <laughs> I, I have to finish my other beer. But but believe me, we'll we'll finish this beer too. Who All is right. the Cody LP? Is that your son? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Cody there. He said, "Sweet setup. Texas is superior." Whoa! How much? Probably about the guitar, and then he said, "Stream is frozen." <laughs> oh, all right. So, 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 Cody, you'll just have to let us know if we are alive again. I think we're live. Lisa's got us on on our uh, Wi-Fi instead of our hard hard connection. Um, yeah, that that particular well, that guy, his guitar started at twenty nine hundred bucks. That guitar was north of four thousand. There you go. Um, but you know, you work hard, you get a nice guitar. He's, he's working. So. Like I said, he's got the Brent Mason coming. Yeah, there you go. You have a Brent uh, Mason coming, so I mean, you'll be in great yeah, shape. Yeah, he's got. He, yeah. So nice. if we can learn how to use that B bender, we'll be a okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you good? All right, we're ready. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we've know. we've completely lost our our train of thought after after the hurricane came through. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're all good. We're safe. So, so every 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 well, time the Tiki Hut's still standing. The Tiki Hut's still standing, and it's sunny. It's sunny. That's just how it works around here. A little it bit was, of the the thatch on the top is kind of hanging. Right yeah, there. it came across the north side of the island. So, so we're good. We're good. Now, usually when when whenever any anyone sees you guys, uh, Randall Crawford Band, we we see it all red. We see we see it all, all all over. You guys play a lot of country music. Yes. But I've also been at some shows where where you take over and 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 I think you guys have done ACDC. Oh yeah, we do ACDC. You did um, Bon Jovi because I actually folks, I actually yeah. took Randall's guitar one night at Graffiti and, and did that with you guys. Yep, yep. So if if you're not playing country, what are you listening to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an '80s baby, dude. Oh '80s, okay. Oh yeah. And, big and hairs, big hairs, big hairs. Oh okay. So so so. My Boys radio and my and car Laurent is and, set to you know, 80s station. And Motley Crue. Firehouse. And oh, Firehouse. I've seen them all in concert. Def Leppard. And, <laughs> Skid Row. And all that stuff. Skid Row. <laughs> I'm an 80s baby. Okay, yeah, cool, sure. cool. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I grew up on. I listened to that kind of stuff. Yeah, Slaughter. Slaughter. Water, Poison. Right. Firehouse. All that, all that great stuff. A lot oh, yeah. of Aquanet. Oh, a yes. lot of Aquanet. For those of you that, that don't know what Aquanet is, <laughs> look it up. Your hair would go as high as you could possibly get it, and it would not move. So uh, Aquanet. Uh, so if I played, like if I played and I want, I would play, if I could find somebody who could sing that kind of stuff. Right. Style, that's what you would do? That's what I'd play. That's what, I, now, I would be up there with a cowboy right. hat on, right, playing 80s <laughs> would, hair music. Would you wear spandex, though? No. Okay. No. Yeah, you get to a certain age and it becomes X spandex. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen what I look like, but spandex would not be anything anybody would want to see. <laughs> Lisa likes that. X spandex. Well, you, you know, because it, it's like, you, you know, all, all the girls that go to the gym have, have these really cute uh, outfits. What, what do they call them? Like leggings, leggings or, like or, workout or, or pants. workout yeah. pants. Yeah. And, and, and then there are some folks that, Probably should not be wearing leggings. Exactly. Um, you know, but look, everybody's got their thing. That's um, and kudos for the ones who shouldn't be wearing it. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I wish I had confidence like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, most of the rock stars just shoved a sock down the side of their spandex pants. Hey, their oh, thing. speaking of, you guys just went and seen the coolest cover band I've ever seen, the Van Halen cover band. Mm. I watched your live feeds. Right. That's Dude. his good friend. Yeah, dude, they are freaking awesome, man! All right, so 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 the lead singer Gene Hendrickson and I went to high school together. Um, uh, he's he's a couple years older than I am, and up in we, New York, up in New York, and we worked together. Eugene's brother's Tommy Hendrickson. Tommy Hendrickson is the touring guitarist for the Alice Cooper Band, mm -hmm. and he's also the, the guitarist he's in Hollywood. A, he's an A-lister if he plays for Tommy or Cooper, and and yeah. he's in the Hollywood Vampires yeah. with with um Joe Perry yeah. and Alice Cooper yeah. and and Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Yep. Tommy's in the band. So, um, so Gene was always a drummer, phenomenal drummer, just unbelievable. But he came to this Van Halen thing. But now the drummer, this guy, Zoltan Chaney, who is, I, I, I was blown away and I've seen some great drummers. I mean, I've, 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 I've seen phenomenal drummers in all my years, 
phenomenal. Then, then come to find out that he is the touring drummer for Slaughter. Nice. And for another big oh, band. Oh, Al- Alice in Chains? Or no? No. Um, well, I love that I stopped you. That's good. Maybe that's good. Winger that's good. or something like that. Oh, but, that's cool. But, yeah. But yeah, the remember. guy is phenomenal. Zoltan Chain, you can find him on Facebook, and he just blew us away. But, Dude, yeah. They are amazing. They are amazing. Down, they dude. are amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's, I didn't it's like Van Halen. Yeah, yeah. And then um, Jake Miller's the, their guitar player, and he is like Eddie Van Halen reincarnated. I, I mean, know, he's dude. He's unbelievable. He's note for note. Yeah. Note for note. He, he oh, just blows gosh. people away. So, I mean, just, just they're so a trip, guys, man. If you're oh, in yeah. Central Florida, check them out. They're, uh, I've yeah. seen what a couple of things popped up on my Facebook page yep. for them uh, advertising more more venues. Yeah. Yep, completely unchained. you got to check oh. them out. If you like Van Halen, man, they are the Van Halen tribute band. They look it, they sound it, and they and they have that swagger. The guy has a rocking you know. body. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my buddy Gene, I mean, he Whoa. is... I mean, he's phenomenal. I mean, he's he he's in great shape. He's got a good tan, and you know. But when he's off stage, he's he, he's not in costume. So right, yeah. so you would think he's just some other guy. But when they get on stage and they put the wigs on and, and the outfits, and it's dude, it's it, it was unbelievable. They, uh, so. yeah. When I seen your live feeds, I, I told Jen, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this! Right, right. It's one of the best ones I've oh, ever yeah. seen. Yeah. A cover band. Now now there is a show that's being filmed in or at um. The Hard Rock Hotel in Palm Beach. It's it's called Tribute Band Wars. Oh, cool! So so that they're having competing tribute bands oh. against each other. So like competing Van Halen bands, competing Bon Jovi, complete. Oh, that's cool. all the hair band yeah. shit that you like yeah. that I like. <laughs> uh, and and then, and then they'll be competing for prizes and stuff. Uh, there's limited tickets available for them, but it'll it's probably gonna be like 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 on one of those TV shows like like. Uh, acts or something like that they'll right, probably right. televise it as well super cool but they man. look like the bands and they sound like the bands. so well i mean because when i went and seen warren janey lane had already passed yeah so it was pretty much mm-hmm. cover band you know you know what i loved about janey lane was bobby brown that's all i can say <laughs> I, there's nothing else to say about that bobby brown look her up <laughs> if you saw a cherry pie if you saw oh yeah uh, great whites <laughs> once bitten twice shy that's, that's bobby funny. brown that's right you wouldn't recognize her today because of you know She's about age, my age, age, age is <laughs> but uh, yeah. that's what I remember. She about was Lane. beautiful. Actually, he, he had the Sunset Strip, which is was down at Church Street. Yes, for a few yep, years, yes, so. it was. Yep, that yep. too. Yep. Uh, some friends of mine that were over in Orlando, they actually worked with him when right. he had the Sunset Strip. Yeah. So I mean, there you go. Okay. Oh, so so another eighty story. Uh, yeah. Now I, I don't know if you've heard this, but but Aerosmith wrote the song "Dude Looks Like a Lady," right? Because Steven Tyler walked into a bar or a club, and it was Vince Neil. When Molly Crew got started and they were all wearing those ladies' makeups, right. and he thought it was a chick with right. this long blonde hair. And so he wrote the song Dude Looks Like a Lady, supposedly <laughs> in tribute to Vince Neal of Molly right. Crew. So you thought it was Brett Michaels. I thought first. it was Brett Michaels, but but then, then I, I dug it deeper and it was actually Vince Neal. So good job. If you've seen Vince Neal today, obviously the dude does not look like a lady. Not at all. So. <laughs> he looks so. like a leather bag. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little rough, <laughs> and he sounds a little rough. Uh, he sounds a lot rough. So, <laughs> we'll see if our concert happens. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to see Def Leppard, Motley Crue, and Poison. Poison. Oh, nice. And I got yeah, put nice. off last year. Yeah, I got put I off, have, put off, put off. So I haven't supposed seen, to be June this year, but I, I don't know. Right, I have not seen Motley Crue. Yeah. I've seen the others. Poison. Yeah, Crue, uh, Def Leppard, phenomenal. I mean, I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen Def Leppard. Dude. I just watched the drummer yeah. the whole time. I was just, yeah, it's like. <laughs> I'm like, how does he do that? How does yeah. he do that? Just, you know. <laughs> well, he has a double bass. So yeah, he, I know. He's got pedals. He all all kinds of pedals, yeah, which is super cool. Pedals, which is, but yeah, because great. he overcame his, his problem. Of course, yeah. It's crazy. He, he didn't have an arm. They built built pedals for him. Yep. And, he, and, and dude, it, you would. I'm he amazed. was very depressed after that happened. But, yeah. but, but you know what? Well, the one thing that I, that I have to say is, is if anyone's in a band, and, and, and they have issues, or, or you know, because every band has issues. If you look at Def Leppard, those guys could have said, you know what, we can't have a one armed drummer. And and they took the attitude that if you can't play, we're not playing. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. You, you know, so th- that's integrity, that's loyalty, that's that, that's dedication yeah. to, to, and, which is each other. Which is to make it yeah. for 30, 40 years. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Those that came out in 83, I believe. Maybe a little bit earlier. It now. was, on, it was, I think, On Through the Night was the first record, I, I believe. I think, I think I have them all. And, well, I had them in eight track. <laughs> we're not going to get into that again because it talks about my age again. So, so, um, I it, listen to eight tracks. That's cool. I know. Eight I told him we had a couple Ka-ching. of them. <laughs> so, um, as a bass player, um, who who's the mu- well? It doesn't have to be a bass player, but who who's the mu- musician that you admire most? I, you know that you look up to and say, you know, right? I admire 
Jimmy Olander. Mm -hmm. He's a guitar player for, um, oh my gosh, I went blank. That's okay. Who else? Um, country or what is he? It could be country. Yeah, he's could country. Be. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Jimmy, oh, he's a, he's a super cool tele player. Mm. Um, he's played for a long time. He's really good. Um, Steve Cargill, which is the guy mm -hmm. I mentioned from Texas. Right, he's right. A bass player. He's super awesome. Uh, Brent Mason, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, so who, just who some great guys. Like, who doesn't like uh, Diamond Rio? Steve. Okay. Steve uh, Olander plays. Oh, there you go, girl. Yeah. So uh, a, a bit, girl likes anything with diamond in it, anyway. Yeah. Well, Diamond uh, Rio back in the day. Lone, diamond Lone crusted. Star, uh, the Lone Black Star. Hawk. Yep. Lone Star. Which there was some great. The fun bands. little fact about Lone Star. I don't know if you know it or not, but John Rich started Lone Star. Oh, really? And then left. Oh, wow. I did not so know if you that. listen to that first album, you can hear him singing back up, and he sings. Um, lead vocal on a couple of songs. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know. There that. you go. Oh. Yep. On the first album. Mm. See, 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 this show is, is, it's a complete learning experience. <laughs> you, you think we're just screwing around, but we're, but it's, there's so much information that's available in You're all so of these minds. Cause like my mind, a lot of it's, you know, hollow and burnt out already. So I can store the, <laughs> the odd stuff. You, you know, we watch Jeopardy at, at, at the house all the time. And Lisa's like, Keeps you sharp. how do you know that? <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm going to put you on a show. And, and I'm like, it has to have the right categories. Because <laughs> he said you, his you, luck, you, it'll you know, be like something he Yeah, Yeah, my luck, it, it, it will be Greek government officials, you know, or something <laughs> like that. Or, or you, you know, what is that? Elizabethan art from the 1400s. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to get rock stars of the 80s or, or TV show theme songs. Right. It's not going to happen on my show. You know, I'll be negative 5,000, you know. <laughs> no, but so. you are really good with Jeffrey. Right, well. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I threaten him every day. I'm and like, the sad part is, is they, I'm give put them, you on uh, they give them all the information that they need. They just have to study it. No, they That's what I told him. There's yeah. a study guy. I can't Jeff study shit. <laughs> <laughs> to know it, though, it's crazy. Man. The older I get, I forget. So it used to be, Jordan used to tell me all the time, he's like, man, you are a tomb of country knowledge. Right. Because mm -hmm. I could give you dates and times and everything. And you know it. Like when it, like Rain I've Man. lost it. I've lost it, dude. Yeah. Just, the older I get, the more it, like, it goes. Oh, you know, like the name of every um person in a band like he knows all yeah, the yeah I'll, know, I'll know the drummer and the bass player and the, they came out and how yeah. many albums they made and lucky lucky because i can't crazy. remember that crap anymore. it's weird shit but, yeah but it's <laughs> super cool but, though but you know what the issue is brian the other the other night i'm trying to get in the safe because because i have a gun match to shoot <laughs> and i can't remember the damn condom combination for the safe i'm like lisa do you happen to remember the combination for the safe that i've had for 10 years i, I could give you a hint and you know and she had to send me the combination you probably uh use your address uh, it, it was it, it was actually the combination Don't that came that. with it because I didn't know how to change the damn combination. One two three four. Yeah, one two and three I, four. I had it A B C D. I had it written down. So you, you know, so I'm like, damn, I, I got to get my gun out of the safe. You know, for this for this match I'm shooting on Saturday. And like that. Anyway, so uh, that's that's where my mind my mind goes. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can tell me the 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 the, the, the circumference of a, a of a grape at a hundred yards. Right, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that stuff I know. How does that work? I don't even know that. <laughs> you know, right? It's like. <laughs> but that, that's how it goes, you know. So uh, I always surprise Lisa; she always gets a chuckle out. Of me. <laughs> and then we watch the idiots on, on uh, Wheel of Fortune, and we're yelling at the TV. Right. Why are you buying vowels? You know what it is. Save that two fifty. Yeah, why are you? You may need money? that. You know. So. Does it go back in? I mean, is, no. I, 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 I you, you spend it on the vowel. But if you know what the puzzle is, why are you buying vowels? Uh, you know? And they will definitely know what the word is. Of course. Itself, and they they're like. I want to buy an E. I want to buy an A. It's like, we, you know what it <laughs> you is. You know what the word is. Because, because then they pick a vowel and, and there's only like one vowel in the puzzle, then they say what the puzzle is. So there you go. Go figure. Right. Yeah, it's, so, it's annoying. <laughs> so every everybody goes to a concert. Everybody has their first concert. What's the first concert t-shirt you had? First concert t-shirt, Cross Canadian Ragweed. What is that? That sounds like a, like a drug fest. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> what they're, a, they're a country cross band from is that like siberian orchestra no, trans-siberian orchestra no no they're a country cross rock band okay from texas really yep that was the do they do originals or are they cover band or what do they do no they do originals really was it never not together it. country uh it's a cross, cross canadian, canadian ragweed holy yeah, crap Australia. never heard of that try fitting that on a business card everybody right there cross canadian ragweed. Cross -Canadian. Yeah. wow I'm sure you could. Put that, that is up. a crazy name. Dude, they are freaking awesome. Right. Check them out, man. All right. I'm, I'm going to have to look them up. Super cool Write stuff. Write that down because I'll, I'll forget it or, 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 or I'll text super, you later. Super cool stuff, man. Yeah. Those guys, like I said, they're on the edge of country rock. Okay. Um, Live shows, ridiculous. Right. So the cool thing is about that. So I seen them at the executive in Orlando. Okay. That's where I seen them at. Took my dad, and my uncle. They hackled the bass player 
Really? The whole time. Yeah, the only bass player there knows how to play bass. And it's just great. <laughs> so I actually got to meet Pluto. Pluto's his name. And uh, he's out in Texas. And super nice guy, man. He was really, really? nice and didn't get upset at my dad and my uncle for giving <laughs> him a bunch of grief. But well, yeah, well, if you're playing bass, they're like, fun, my son could be up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> and, and those guys are freaking awesome, dude. I mean, just uh, hands down, one of the best. One of the best, super nice guys. Uh, they're kind of, they've got a bunch of stuff out there. You should check them out. Super I'll have to look cool. them up. Yeah, and they're on the edge of country. They're they're okay. more rock than they are country, but it's super cool, you know. All right, sweet. Well, I'll definitely have to check it out. Uh, first album you bought? I remember my first album. I read this question and was like, "What album did I buy first? My first album was Dirty Rotten, Filthy Snake, and Rich. Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> I remember getting that for Christmas. That's Warrant. That's my aunt. My aunt bought that one for me for Christmas. Dirty Rotten, Stinking. Yep. <laughs> I think the first album that I can recollect that I bought. Oh, hey, 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 wait. That's a big word, and we said no big words on the show tonight. Recollect. The recollect. That, the only one that I think that I can remember that I bought was. Tracy Lawrence Sticks and Stones. Album. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Love Tracy Lawrence. Just yeah, Tracy. I was thinking Tracy Chapman already. I like that. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's did, a little later. Does he do Tracy fast Chapman. car? No, okay. Yeah, a little Tracy later. Lawrence is yeah, awesome. Yeah. Now, now, I think that guy, didn't he have a mustache and he had a big hat? If I and, a yes. mullet. Yeah. And, yes. I, and I actually grew and a, mullet. a mullet to match Well, that. everybody had mullets yeah, in, in, in country music. It was freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. I had a flowing mullet. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you remember? I'm sure you do. Really? Wow. Oh, we got to yeah. dig up a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was down to the middle it's of my probably back. in the yearbook. <laughs> wow. So um, one of the things about performing is, is being on stage. What... What's the what's the biggest rush that you've gotten performing? Was there a particular show where you where you were on stage? Maybe it was a a show with a, a lot of people. Maybe it was just a magical show. What 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 was that like? First show with Dan Story Band was playing Ocala Square, downtown Square. Mm -hmm. It was about twenty five hundred people there. It was my first show that I ever really played. Wow. In front of a bunch of people. Now, now, w were you nervous or did oh, you just get out there? And I was a wreck. <laughs> oh, were you? Oh, I was a were wreck. Were you old enough to drink? I was old enough oh, okay. to drink, but I, I <laughs> but wasn't even drink drinking drink. then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So um, the funny thing is, is Big Red, who's at 93.7, mm -hmm. uh, he, he pulls me to the side and he's like, because he's a bass player too. Okay. With us. He had played in a bunch of uh, shows and uh, a bunch of bands over here in Orlando. And he's like, hey, man. You look so bad, dude. Like, relax, man. You got to relax. But we, I made it through, and it was fun. But that was probably the most memorable show that I did in my career outside of other the other stuff that I've right. actually had a chance to experience. It was super cool um, because it was the first show, real sure. show, 2,500 people. Wow. It was like a um, – it was a – toy drive for children mm -hmm. and there was okay. a ton of people down there and it was wow. awesome it's light up the square and everything oh so, geez what's the so, biggest group you think you've played for the biggest group i played for house of blues baby really oh, oh yeah wow. house of blues i've seen it packed top bottom wow. left right Who were you up, playing down. With then? was with randall yeah oh, okay. it was a few years ago was that a rush dude it's freaking awesome was that a rush when people are screaming at you and right. you can feel it wow that's amazing yeah mm. That's amazing. Yeah, you got to walk off feeling like 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 you laid it all out oh, there. Yeah. Oh, it was wow. a, it was it was super cool. People, we were there for the Battle of the Bands at uh, Old Red. Yeah, that it was, was fun. fun. That yes, was fun that was that yeah. was awesome. That was an awesome night with you guys. Yeah, you guys, I mean, and Orlando won. Orlando <laughs> won. Yeah, yeah, we were. Uh, you know, Randall and Brian said, "Hey, hey, you guys got to come out to Old Reds. It's Battle of the Bands, and the more people we 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 can get in there, you know, we can possibly win." Um, I'll tell you this. Um, irregardless of the number of people that that were there and, and and they won anyway but they were phenomenal yeah. and if and and if i remember correctly brian um the the first or second song you did there was a problem with the feed there was so you guys had to come up with another song like yeah, yeah. like no, in they instant. did it all over again yeah, we did it we did the whole thing over again yeah 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 so i mean you, you, so you that, know that, that was, says a lot about yeah. professionalism right there to be able to say okay you know we yeah we sucked it up we played right into the middle of it and it was like but you played against like people in Texas and I think in Nashville and it was yeah it was, it was uh, Tuscaloosa right? Oklahoma right Nashville Gatlinburg and then Orlando right that's right so so we had the four places that we were competing against yeah so the, I mean they're phenomenal so 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 again if, if you're if you're in a Lake County area check them out or no. they're, they're usually at Old Reds on Saturday nights from nine to twelve usually yep nine to twelve um, Saturdays they, they they've been alternating everything alternating? Like Friday Saturdays um 
Randall's doing an open mic night uh, at the oyster bar on Wednesday night. Wednesday nights, right, right. Yeah, so if, and if you're hungry for some oysters, put some lead in your pencil, come on down to the oyster bar and check him out. And I'm, Friday, you guys are at graffiti. Yes, and we're at graffiti this Friday. In Claremont at yep. 7. Yep, for well, sure, man. Well, so, well speaking of, of Randall, uh, the, the issue that I have with Randall is he probably has more viewers tonight than we do because we're live yeah. also. So we may have to do a live show on a Wednesday night, there you go. Open mic. That'd be cool. That would that be would super be cool idea. down at the Oyster Bar. That's true. So we can set up, and we can, you know, when when somebody comes up to the mic, yep. we can get them on camera live, and then we can broadcast yeah. that. That'd be pretty cool, and actually. If and if it's bad, you can have some people to talk. Well, like if it's, us well, and... if it's bad, I can just you know <laughs> play some music, you know. <laughs> yeah. But if it's really good, we can just uh, give them a nice applause. So we, we can we can do all that stuff. <laughs> That's definitely it. You never know what you're going to get <laughs> up there. I've been plus. up there a time or two. So. <laughs> you know, Trampus has got a good thing going up there with Randall. It's yeah, it's cool. cool. It's gl I'm glad to see that. Oyster That's Bar is so off. good. Yeah, and it's it's a hidden gem for people like us. Yep. They sure. don't know that it's there, but we know it's there. I only know. ate there once, and, and I, don't, I don't remember why we didn't go back. I just... I just I've never gone back, so it's really. Yeah, you know, we do need to go though. We yeah. we need to support Randall, and maybe we'll do a show down there at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So de okay, definitely Sounds do good. that. So um, I know there's some good stuff we got. Yeah. yeah. So you're we already talked about you getting nervous during a performance. Um, yeah. what what advice would you tell somebody before their before their first time going on stage? You know, because I you know they're nervous. Uh, you know they've never done it. What would you tell somebody? I've actually done this before. There's a kid that's on The Voice right now. Mm -hmm. His name's uh. Kenzie Willer. Mm -hmm. He got a four chair turn with a block. Okay. For his blind audition. Wow. And he would be so nervous. And I'd say, Kenzie, I'm like, chill out, dude. It's gonna be okay. Right. We're right here with you. You're not doing this by yourself, you know. And it takes a lot of nerve, you know, for somebody who's not doing this on a normal basis and they get nervous to go do it. Dude, it takes a lot of nerve right. to stand out in front of people and do what we do. Sure. Of course, I don't get nervous anymore. Right. Ever ever because it's just like a job to me anymore but used to you know like we talked about when i was up at the square yeah dude i was a nervous wreck sure because i didn't want to make any mistakes no i i you agree know? i mean you know i i mean it's only been the past few years where, where i've i've performed live as a solo player right you know you you know in the past i played with bands where you know if you make a mistake or or, or something doesn't go right, right. It, you know it's not you right exactly you know exactly. but 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 then I, I like I tell myself like when you're doing solo stuff you you're like nobody in the audience knows that you've made a mistake except the one musician that's saying wow I can't believe that he's it that he's playing in that exactly. key or or exactly. really he's 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 playing a small bodied acoustic when he should be using a jumbo exactly. or or exactly. why is he why is he playing Sweet Home Alabama on a Strat I mean it's you know and I just had all those things yeah I just had this conversation with a fellow musician earlier today you know we really shouldn't talk about each other like that we should commend each other. If we make a mistake, we all know that we're not perfect. Right. Dude. We don't. We don't get paid to play this seven nights a week. Sure. What we do. Right. For for us, you know what I mean. If we played a, a pro gig, yeah, then you would be expected to play it like the way it's supposed to be played every night without having a down night. But, but even that doesn't happen. Yeah, even that doesn't happen, mm -hmm. dude. I, I I when I seen Warren, I seen them. I seen his bass player drop the ball. Bad. Sure. I mean, bombed all over the place. It, I mean, it happens. It's just then he's a pro player who's been playing it since 1985. Sure. You know what I mean? And and still dropped the ball. So for 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 someone who's coming into this and who's learning how to get on stage and who's being who's trying to get prepared for this to be nervous, don't be, dude. It's okay, man. If you make a mistake, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's... Randall forgets words all the time. I sure. forget to play a note, this and there, or whatever. Or, or whatever, you know, Brian back on the drums, he'll, he'll miss a beat or whatever the case is. So it's not a big deal. We just pick up, you, you, you just, pr you just get past it. Right. It, instantly. You need to learn. That's, that's how you become a pro musician is to make that mistake and just push forward and don't be nervous about it because it takes a lot of nerve to do what we do yeah. in front of however many people is in front of sure. you, whether it be two to 2000. No, no, I, I, I agree with that, you know, and I, and I, and I follow a lot of posts and, you know, and, you know, mu musicians are are, are are like politicians and are like, you know, because every, everybody has a, um, everybody's critical. Yeah. And so some of the posts that I follow, because the majority of bands out there that are working every day are cover bands. They just, they just yeah. are. Yes. Um, yeah. you, you know, you know, trying to get, you know, a hundred bucks a guy or 200 bucks a guy if they're lucky. And, and, and so there's always the argument, well, well, if you're a cover band, you need to sound completely like the record or you need to be completely different. And my take on it is, 
it's it's like art. It's subjective. Do your take. You know, I ask for three things when I have a guitar player, because usually that's the person that has to shine the most. Right. I ask for the intro to be correct. Do whatever you want to do in the middle and make sure the outro is correct. Right. Period. Okay. Because cool. you got to have the signature to get into mm-hmm. it, so that people understand what you're playing. Right. So you're not like just playing whatever. Sure. What you do in the middle, I want you to put your stank on it, if you will. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of cliche to say, but I want you to be you and play what you want to play in Correct. the middle of it. Right. And in the ending, I need it to be like the way it is, you know, and, and that's 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 how I've always been. That's how Dan taught me how it needed to be, and Jordan and everybody. Because, you know, Jordan's not a note for note guy. Right. I don't think you have to be. I, I but, mean, but he's, but he'll have the intro and the mm-hmm. ending. And what he right. does in the middle, we just all go. How did he do that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, and, and and note for note, just it doesn't usually exist. I, I I mean, you know, I mean, I I grew up when I when I learned to play guitar, it was it was it was blues based. So it, it, it was Clapton, it, it was Jimmy Page, it was Zeppelin, it was all that kind of stuff. And 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 I got into Robert Johnson, who was a blues player and everything. And 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 so it was always an interpretation, you know, because you know when when Zeppelin first came out, they were like, wow, that's such an incredible sound. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but most of that stuff is old blue stuff from, blue from, stuff from from right. from the twenties and, right. and 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 so on. So, uh, you know, my take is create your own thing. I mean, I, think, I mean, I think so. I think that's the fair way to do it. That way, that gives everybody the advantage to express themselves right. in the music, so they're not so caged in. Right. It's not. It's not. This is not a cage that we're doing. Correct. If they're playing for the actual songwriter or whatever. On the road, then yeah, they, then they have to be in that cage. But for us, or if you're a tribute band, yeah, I think if you're looking the part, yeah, and, yeah, and that's you, your gig, yes, yeah, then you've got to sound the part. But otherwise, right. I think it's you know you have certain liberties. Uh, yeah, I think I think for us to be a cover band who's playing in these in these nightclubs and stuff, I I feel that you should be able to to be yourself, right. And still okay. have people recognize the song, and say, wow, yeah, that's that, right. that's a that's right. a cool song, and to be able to show your talents. Off. Sure, no, I'm, not, yeah, I agree, I I agree, um. If you could join any band, what band would you want to play in? Oh boy! Ooh, I think I'd play for Cody Jinx. Cody Jinx, and why? What? And why is that? Because he plays at Colorado Red Rocks, and that is the place that I no. want to play in so bad. Really? Okay. I want to go to Colorado and play Red Rocks. Red Rocks, so bad. I think a lot of people have, have famous people have played yeah, Red have, Rocks. I, mean, have, I, I, I guess from what I've heard, the acoustics are just like on, off the chain. I've yeah, been there, but I did not get to see a show. You, oh, so you didn't play drums there? You didn't, no. Oh, well, you know, like, now everybody would leave. Yeah, well, that's not true. Maybe next time. What do you do? What do you want? Are you are you texting me? Because I'm not paying any attention. <laughs> Looks like you're texting. She's trying to text- figure out she's- how to share this on my Facebook. Oh, I have no idea. You know what? We can. I'll try to add you to the feed in the next week. We'll there try it that way. But yeah, that place is super cool, and 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 I feel like that it that, that's just like it's like the plateau of a career right. just to be able to play a place sure. like that. Mm. It's, it's super nice and dude and everybody famous is played yeah everybody's played red rocks yeah. sure sure and um who wouldn't want to be in the middle of those red mountains oh yeah playing. and just playing music yeah. you know with the best acoustics you're not screwing around with sound for three hours <laughs> exactly you know? exactly good god so um tell me what it's like performing with cody i mean playing with your son's got to be a oh, a whole different level of i i mean i mean i mean you have to be proud and you have to be cautious because you're like oh well he's just playing because he's you know it's so proud. I'm so proud of him. I mean, my chest swells every right. time I play with him. Really? He always amazes me, which is crazy. Sure. I mean, it's not. But he should amaze you. I mean, you have five right, kids. Right, they all right, should right, amaze right. you. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying when it comes to the music side of mm-hmm. things, I mean, yes, uh, as a personal level inside our home, yes, he's he's equal to everybody else. But when we're on business side of things, it's, yeah, it's it's a huge a huge chest well for me. So you look over at him and you're like, like, proud yeah, it's dad. like, Hey man, you know, like all, right. all my hard work that, that we all did together is now paying off. Yeah. I remember when he was learning how to play working man blues. Right. You know what I mean? And sure. It stank bad. Well, you know, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's now, how it goes. You know, and now he's like a monster on the guitar and I could never dream of playing the way he plays. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I could, I could probably practice for a lot of, a lot of time. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice, a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I remember as a kid, I, I, I was my, my, my uncle, a phenomenal musician, and wrote, wrote songs in Nashville for people and stuff. And, uh, and um, I was, I was so proud one day, and I said, hey, you know, Uncle Paul, I got to show you that that I've learned Layla, right. you know, you know and, and he's like, wow, 
I, I can never listen to that song again. That was terrible. Oh, and, right. and I was like, Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so proud that, I, that, that I've learned, you know, a, 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 a signature song by one of the greatest guitarists ever. Right. And you can't listen to it again because, you know, in, in, instead of saying, hey, let me show you how that should go or whatever. It was, oh, that's terrible. I'll, I'll never listen to it again. Well, it, the problem you know? is, is for Cody, I'm not a lead player at all. Like, like well, you know what's in tune. Song. You know the right note and the wrong note. Uh, yeah, he know. Like, he's way ahead of me when it comes to that. So, so I'm I'm proud of him. Like, he's 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 taking the bull by the horns, and he showed me a few things, and he, he's doing a great job, man. Right. And somebody's going to be proud to have him in a band, sure. At cool. some point, at some point, he's going to. Yeah. I mean, he's 22 years old. Yeah, let him man. focus on his job, but he still needs to always play. Right, yeah, right, play. exactly. You know, and who's not going to want a 22 year old playing lead guitar sure. like Fire? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, he he is literally. he currently looking for a band? Oh, he's always looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You it's know, just hard getting people to commit. That's that. That's the thing. That's the thing. You know, because he's on the serious side of everything. Like right. he's now he's grew up in it. Sure. With me. So now he's on the serious side. So he knows it's a business. It's right. You know. Yeah, it's yeah. thousands and thousands of dollars on his side, right, to make money. You know, sure. and it, 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 great. Like I said, he's great, yeah. and he's still waiting on that guitar. Bless his heart. Yeah, so bad for him. He ordered it in October, and it still ain't here yet. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's I don't it. Know. And then uh, my stepson actually plays piano, which is pretty crazy. Oh wow! So I got a piano player in the house. So you got a piano player, a guitar player, bass player, and you can, if you can drag Lisa over with her drum set, then you got a full band. There you go. I, I had a drum set. I had to give it back to the drummer. And 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 what what audience doesn't want to see a band with with a beautiful blonde girl playing drums, right? <laughs> Who wants to see a band? Anybody wants to see a beautiful blonde? Band. Uh, of course, of course, of course. And 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 we'll pick out your outfit to wear. Oh, hey. that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think that back to that, uh, that workout after. Yeah, that. yeah. There we go. <laughs> we'll be on that. Leggings. Leggings. <laughs> leggings. Oh golly. Uh, now, now for my curveball question. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh, here we go. Um, th this this actually came up in in one of our earlier shows, um, just through conversation. <laughs> so so so. I know what it is. So if you caught the, some of the shows, you may I've have heard it. Seen a few of them. Okay, so so you get a phone call from a band's agent, and they say, "Hey Brian, this this is so and so from so and so's band." And we want you in our band. We think you are the best guy for this band. Uh, you got everything going for you. You got the look. You, you, you got the musicianship. Um, and, uh, you know, the issue is that, that, that you have to figure out what your name is going to be because the band is the Spice Girls. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I forgot this part. Dang it. <laughs> so, I remember that. <laughs> I watched Corey. What did he say? Sexy Spice? Or uh, Corey, Corey said, said Sexy Spice, of yeah, course, because that's Corey. Lame, lame. You know, um, I, th I think, what, what did Michael say? Uh, oh, Michael's uh, was funny. What was it? Was it uh, Comfy Spice? I think or, it was or, something or, like that. Yeah. Something. No, Snuggly? Snuggly, Snuggly Spice. spice. Yeah. Like that. I forget. <laughs> and I, think I was like Sleepy uh, Spice or no, something. No, you were snoring. Snoring Spice, which <laughs> really... You know, not much to do on stage there. I forgot about this guy. <laughs> I didn't even put any thought in this. What about Slutty Spice? Uh, <laughs> that's the girl I want to meet backstage. That used to be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so we actually stumped no, him. I know. Michael's was Cuddly Spice. Oh, Cuddly, Cuddly Spice. Spice. Right. There you that's go. Spice. <laughs> All right. We'll let uh, you slide it. Let's see. Uh, see. This is like a Jeopardy question. It is a Jeopardy. Maybe I should have given you the answer and you could have promoted the question. Goodness gracious. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't have know. to start with an S. I know. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I don't know. Boy, oh boy. I, I chose Snorri Spice for him because he's always sleeping. Passes out always snoring sleeping. next to me on the couch right. every day. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll do something lame like that's bottom, okay. bottom end spice. Bottom end spice. <laughs> bottom end. <laughs> bottom end spice. Let's we'll call him country spice. Uh, country, country spice. spice. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, there you go. So country so, spice is <laughs> how that smell. It smells like country spice. With his Stetson cologne. <laughs> So when the Spice Girls are on tour, check out Country, Country Spice, Spice with his Stetson cologne. He will not have a horse, though. Don't call him a cowboy. Right. So. Well, guys, this is officially Country our longest Spice. podcast. Oh, wow. It's a longer podcast. All right. We're well, at we, hour we got and broke. 21 we got broke. minutes. Oh, geez. We got yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're going to wind up uh, with another couple of questions here. So um, one of the questions I, I like to ask is, is if you could turn back time, what would you tell your 18-year-old self um, going forward, which you probably probably tell your son? Yeah, dude. Do so, it. Go for it. Do man. it. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Play play the music, man. Just do it. Do it. 
Don't be scared. Because at 18, Cody was on his way. So, you know, I kind of laid the guitar down for a little while and and, uh, didn't touch it till Mm -hmm. I was 22. Wow. So, you know, I got him up and where he was of age, you know. So... 18 don't do it and then don't do, do it. it and then do it <laughs> and then do it so so which yeah. brings me to, to to our to our next uh question is is um uh, if you could have a billboard with anything on it what would it say <laughs> suck my i mean w- yeah 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 what would it like to say what would you like to say <laughs> suck my base there you yeah. go suck <laughs> my base there you go there you go so so that that's a great answer aka country spice <laughs> so <laughs> aka country spice so close out the show tonight brian um, tell everybody where they can find you. Are you on social media? I am on social media. You can follow me at my name, Brian Purvis, with a Y, not a I, B R Y A N. Purvis. Brian Purvis yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook, yeah. I've got. Uh, and does the I band have a site too? We do RCB, um, Randall Crawford Band, either either or. Okay, um, cool. You can follow me on uh, Instagram on, I think it's Baseman seventy nine. I think on Instagram seventy nine. <laughs> that would be the year he was hatched that's it that's it okay cool so you can you can find him there uh you can find him at, at the rcb band uh, website yep, you can yep, yep. you can find him on on a stage somewhere yeah somewhere I, around if so anybody needs a bass player here i am man here I'm, he is yeah I'm, I'm, he's a gun for hire yes i am a gun for hire he's a gun fire but um you you can catch brian at graffiti junction claremont yes. this friday uh, yes. seven o'clock seven o'clock so on that note we'd like to thank brian for coming out tonight great show thank, thank, you. thank you for being here yeah absolutely lisa thank you as usual for all of your technical ability no doubt no and problem it's freaking awesome, always a pleasure man. this is super cool all right man. cool all right it's sweet. gonna be cool it's super cool <laughs> there you we go. had some good laughs too so great yeah. laughs yeah, yeah, yeah and i want to apologize that i my head went across the camera a couple of times that's all right as i was going to get she was guitars. getting guitars <laughs> and then i went to get a soda because i'm dying of thirst next week's show we have a fantastic guest also you gotta tune in we'll let you know who that guest is tomorrow morning it'll be on facebook social media you can find us at tiki cut central the podcast you can find us on instagram and you can download these episodes at Spotify, iTunes, and all, all kinds of different places where you can listen to the audio in your car, on your way to work, on your way to the bar, on your way home from your girlfriend, wherever you are. So thanks for tuning in tonight, and we'll see you guys next week at Tiki Hut Central. Uh, bye, everyone. Bye. Woo! Wait, hold on.